Atlanta, Foxy Mama 365, back again with The Real House of Atlanta, whoop, whoop. season 13, episode 1, and this is uh, No Justice, No Peace, so the ladies are back, whoop, whoop. I'm happy to get back to Atlanta, <laughs> even though Porto Mac has been, uh, yeah, the last, the last season, the finale was good, however, the few episodes before were kind of like a drag and pretty much the only thing that happened this season on Podomark was the fight between Candice and Monique. So beyond that, there really wasn't much else of a storyline. Yeah. So now, Atlanta, we're back. However, there'll be no Nini. What do you guys think? I was asking that yesterday on my live. No Nini. Um, can Kenya carry the show? Can Cynthia and... Can they carry the show? I don't know. Can Porsche carry the show? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll watch and see. So anyways, Porsche and the riots. Yeah. Porsche was arrested because uh, she was in the riots. And I'm happy to see Porsche really lend her voice to this during the Breonna Taylor and the George Floyd riots. You know that happened over the covid situation COVID, the covid period which was kind of like in may june there was a lot of riots and it was a really heated period in america and um <laughs> i'm glad to see that Porsche now understands much more about the underground railroad and knows that it wasn't really a real <laughs> real life change they're never going to let Porsche live that but anyways good to know that Porsche has learned and she's actually understanding the struggle and we talk about her father Hosea, Hosea Williams who was also a, a, a huge voice for black people you know before he passed so it's kind of nice to see Portia really stand up for something because if you don't stand for something you're probably going to stand for nothing so it's good so since they're having a brunch and she's having some ladies over she's having candy and she's been all this while in LA with Mike and his family so she's kind of happy to just be back at the at Lake Bailey and of course Marlo shows up. Marlo does the most. I love Marlo. I love me some Marlo and I'm glad that Marlo is still coming on the show even though Nini is not here. So that means that Marlo has to make more effort to reach out to more of the ladies which is kind of cool. So Marlo is at the brunch. She's you know she has her mask on. She's checking everybody making sure they're six feet apart. <laughs> You know, but unfortunately, Cynthia gets to tell us about Kenya. We thought Kenya was going to be there, but Kenya has been kind of down. You know, she's kind of sad and she's not really up for conversation and all of that. So she's not, she's not going to be coming for the brunch, which is kind of sad, you know. But we'll see. Marlo is, they kind of try to call Kenya. Kenya is talking and she's saying, oh, she can't make it and all of that. But it is, it is what it is with Kenya. Kenya at the moment, is, she's added, oh, pretty much every lady I know has added some, a few pounds during this, you know, COVID situation. But you know what, the fact that a lot of people are losing loved ones, you know, friends, family, like, you know, I totally get it, being at home, not, you know, being able to go out and being able to eat healthy, or maybe not healthy, but being, just eating. Kenya has packed those pounds on, mm-hmm. Anyway, she's very sad, she's depressed, so she's been eating. She's alone with Brooklyn most of the time. She's having issues with her nanny, but she's trying to get a new nanny and all of that. <sighs> so she's going to meet with her, her, a lawyer, because at this point she just wants to make a decision as to what she's going to do with regards to her man, her husband, or whatever it is, her partner. They've been separated now for 10 months. So she's really sad, and I'm kind of... It's sad to see Kenya go through this, and it's... um. A lesson in life in which um when you make fun of people you know without really going or understanding their situation you just never know what life throws at you so i hope this will make kenya a better person when she relates with other women who you know have relationship issues and stuff like that i believe it probably will anyway she gets to talking with him she's not talking about assets you know they've only been married for three years and pretty much She's saying um, she, they bought a car together and she's giving him the car. I think they, she, they, bought, they bought a Tesla or something like that, if my memory serves me right. They got a Tesla together and so she's giving him the car, but she doesn't want, she doesn't want anything else. Her house was paid for cash. Okay, Kenya. Mm -hmm. You African king paid, okay? Mm -hmm. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Anyways, all she wants is to understand what's going on. She wants to settle the custody of her child because her daughter has been with her. Brooklyn has... Brooklyn has been with her all through the quarantine and pretty much 
he hasn't had any, you know, like he really hasn't, Mark hasn't had any kind of um, relationship as such in taking care of Brooklyn, so he probably won't know. It would be like being with a stranger if she ever went to stay with him. However, it would be nice for him to still be in her life, you know. Especially girls want, need a father figure in their life, it would be kind of nice. So he says, oh, you know what, instead of going for a, a divorce, you can go for a separation, some kind of maintenance kind of thing. You know, you guys were only together for three years. We'll see how that works out. You know, if you guys can work out some some kind of situation with regards to how the children are going to be, you know, how Brooklyn will be, you know, mutually uh, kept. We'll see. And at this point, the producers ask Kenya, Mark, how is Mark with his other kids? Is he a great dad? Kenya's like, mm-mm, I ain't touching that explosion. Mm-mm, I ain't, mm-mm, like, too explosive, girl. I ain't touching that, okay? <laughs> and at this point, that you know, they think the cameras are gone. However, we had her attorney, you know, giving her good advice and saying, girl, live, live your life. You know, you're becoming so self-deprecating and all of that. You, you're so down over a man. Like, this guy doesn't want you. This guy, he, like, in 10 months, he hasn't come back to check on you. You had to go to New York and... Uh, Live your life, girl. Kenya, get your life together. Get your act together. I know it's not easy to stay from, especially when you're on the outside. However, it is what it is. You know, I just hope Kenya can get her act together and, you know, find herself some project or something to to keep her mind busy. Candy and Riley, they get to talk in there, washing their cars. Yeah, Riley's got some beautiful ride there. She's going to be going to NYU Law School. And, um... She's talking about her dad again, and I'm tired of this story, okay? Do better, Candy. Do better. Just bring Mama Joyce. We don't really care about this. We're not going around this block again. Yeah, she's trying to get Block to chip. You don't need Block's money, so just stop. We just we don't even care, okay? You've got three beautiful children. Just enjoy them. You can afford to pay her school fees. Do it and keep it pushing. There's, you, like, forget him. You, like, be gone. Try, Riley can try and build a relationship with her dad, which would be nice, you know, it's all just about money to be nice to actually have a father figure, you know, even though Todd kind of suffices, but nothing like having your real dad, you know, be there for you. Kenya is building a pool, I like that, which is kind of cool. Her house can actually take a pool, which is cool. So she's going to have a pool, heated pool and all that work. So the ladies get to sit in with her. She's got a new nanny for the last two days and she's talking to the ladies how she went to New York and how Mark, as usual, was an asshole, a jerk to her. <sighs> Kenya, this man just doesn't like you. He's not in love with you. Just move on. You haven't invested that much. You have a beautiful daughter from it and that should be like your goal. Your only goal should just be, you know, to raise your daughter right. Um... If you, you have your dad, let your dad be a father figure to her. If Mark wants to be in her life, all well and good. If he wants some custody of her, you guys have to just sit down and figure that out. But I, I think Kenya needs to stop trying to make Mark love her. I don't think that's ever going to happen, you know. Because pretty much 10 months, he hasn't spoken to her. He didn't try to come see his daughter. He didn't try to come see you. You actually had to go to new, in a pandemic. And you're trying to blame it on the fact that, oh, his restaurants are not working. Nah, nah. I'm, stop, giving, stop making excuses for this guy. He's a jerk. He's an asshole. Move on. Kenya, you're too beautiful. Look, listen. Ugh. Cynthia and Mike. They're going to be having this wedding. Even though there's, uh, the COVID is still in town. Cynthia is still like, yeah, she really wants this huge wedding. She, of course, she's looking back to when she was, she got married to her ex. What's his name again? Papa Smurf. Yeah. Papa Ben. Yeah. She, so she's thinking back to when she got married to him. There was a lawsuit actually. She's suing him for $130,000 or $150,000 or something in which she said she invested in his. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, so she really wants, she deserves this, you know, nice wedding, you know, where she has some money, she can actually enjoy, you know, and she also talked about the haters being her mom and her sister who were trying to not let them actually get married and all of that. So she really wants that. But Mike is saying, girl, am I not enough for you? We've spent the whole COVID quarantine period together with our kids, with Mike, with his, with the kids, pretty much all the kids. And it was a beautiful time, but they got through it. And that was a test period. So... Mike is kind of saying, 
do you just want the people or i mean if you have just 50 people that should still be good i think they're saying no she really just wants this big wedding and she wants it to be beautiful and all of that she deserves it and i get that however mike is saying you should be just happy with me you know and that takes me back to when kim kardashian got married to chris humphreys i kept saying that there was just so much going on and you could see that chris was really not in into it and so 72 days after they were divorced and at that point i could say that pretty pretty much all kim really wanted was the wedding you know <laughs> i still believe that kim owes people that those wedding gifts to go give them back okay so <clears throat> she's got to decide if she wants the wedding or she wants the marriage Portia gets arrested uh, she goes all the way to Kentucky to go protest over Breonna Taylor and they're getting arrested and she gets arrested she's in the jailhouse for 13 hours and eventually she gets released with eight seven other people which is kind of cool at least now Portia can say yeah I was arrested you know and my voice was heard you know so it's kind of nice it was kind of neat ah <sighs> freedom matters um the first episode it didn't really give me much hmm Usually Nini, Nini, I don't, Nini doesn't even show usually in the first episode, but well, I'm, I'm happy to see the ladies, but I really don't know. It's beyond Cynthia getting married and Kenya doing this divorce thing again, which we already kind of saw last season. I, I, I really want more. I hope the new ladies, Drew and whoever else is coming on, I really want more. We haven't seen Tanya either. There's some kind of rift between Tanya and Portia, allegedly. We'll see, Kenya Moore was on Wendy Williams' show spilling her usual nonsense, bullshit, beef, whatever it was she was spilling on Wendy Williams. But um, I like Tanya, I've, you know, in addition to the... It would be nice to see Tanya back. I, I, I would also like to see Nini back, but it is what it is. Nini's gone, Nini's gone. Anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe, okay? Be sure to like and share. Thanks for watching.